In this video clip, Leslie B. DeMille gives us a little bit of history about red chalk and his use of the Conti crayon to create sepia portraits. These following examples of red chalk is what the old masters used for a lot of their drawings. It is what I am using now called Conti crayon, which comes in different tones of brown, sanguine, or sepia. And I'll express my thoughts on the different techniques of these examples, and I'll give you a couple of comments about my own approach to using the Conti. Michelangelo. To me, this is the best example of drawing with red chalk, or as we're using now, Conti crayon. The strong shadow accents and the soft rendering from shadow to light Instead of strokes going lengthwise on the arms and legs, for instance, they go around the limbs to give more form. Also note the beautiful use of lost and found lines. I don't believe he used white for the highlights. Uh, likely he just carefully left the white paper or wiped out the extreme lights. Leonardo da Vinci. A wonderful draftsman. Gosh, I will not criticize his work, but I will comment just for you to be aware of the technique of the times. The hair. In these present times, it's obvious we do not advocate doing the hair this way. Note the subtleties in the lights. They are there for the form, not for flashy highlights. Waterhouse. This is a sensitive drawing on a toned paper. The soft application with lots of fine lines allows for the transition from dark to light on the flesh tones and then the clothing and are even evident in the hair. I do not care personally for this style. It makes things almost photographic because of all the labored work involved also. I don't care for the sharp edges, shoulders for instance. Still, it's a lovely drawing. Okay, Raphael. This is a very sensitive rendering. See the difference in the outline edges from the previous drawing. There are sharp lines, but they are varied from strong to soft, even disappearing at times. I know it's hard to see Look closely and you see the lines going around the form, not up and down. Okay, Crespi. The drawing is very good. I do not care for the overall pattern and the labor involved to put tone in the background. It has a distracting effect on me. It does, however, allow for some nice lights to be left in the figure and clothing. Ah, Watteau. One of the artists in that time to make use of the Conti for the drawings and also the use of white pastel for the lights. You can see the very delicate drawings on toned paper with generous use of white to accentuate and help the form of the clothing. This is getting closer to what I prefer. Okay. I guess this is what I call the DeMille method of Conte sepia renderings. Note the way I handle the hair. More form rather than lines. I love to have lost and found edges throughout the whole drawing to give the, uh, the, the spark to the figure. You can see why I love working on velour paper. You cannot get this effect on any other paper that I know of. 